Now, the normal reaction when you see something like this is like this young gentleman on the right hand side there. Okay. Uh, when you hear the words tariff table, some people get very scared, some people find it very easy. Um, but there's no need to be alarmed, no need to be scared. So let's remove that scary face and let's put that face up. You can do this. Okay. You'll see as we go through, we're going to go step by step and real slow and explain exactly how a tariff table works. So a little bit more about tariff table. So a tariff table is a, um, a, a, a structure of, of how to charge people for a service services and fees you've seen something similar to this when you go into a shopping mall that makes you pay for parking i mean can you believe that if you go to a shopping mall where there's a boom and they make you pay for parking and then there's like a table on the on the uh, the boom there that says uh from zero to one hours free from two to from one to two hours uh, 10 rand from two to three hours 15 rand etc 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 so that is a tariff table that's a payment structure all right, so this tariff table is very similar to that. It's different costs based on different brackets of usage. Okay, so we've got an example here of a water usage tariff table. And if you go to the website of the municipality that you're in, like Etigweni or Tswane um, or Cape Town, they should all have something similar to this on their website. So this one comes from East London. It's quite an old one. Um, the newer ones obviously have the cost a little bit higher now, um, but this comes from the municipality's website. And what's actually very interesting to learn how to um, how these tables and these tariff structures work is that you can actually check on the calculations of your municipality. You can see if they're overcharging you um, by using the tariff table. So they often use this kind of structure um, to charge for water, electricity, sewage, things like that. When there's a, um, a cost involved in a, in a usage, like using water and using electricity or using time even sometimes, certain businesses could charge like this on using time, um, like time in the parking lot, then they use a tariff table. And it's very useful for the municipalities because they get to decide on the brackets here. So on the left hand side, the left column, you can see a column which says kiloliters. And then there are rows. Um, and each row has a bracket of usage. Okay, I'm going to talk more about it now. And they can decide what's in that bracket. And they can decide what to charge for what's in that bracket. Okay, so it's a very useful tool, especially if you want to charge a very high rate for very high usage. And you really want to penalize those people that use too much water, too much electricity. Um, you can focus on a certain amount of usage and put a really high cost to that. So the municipalities often use this tool for electricity and water. All right. So let's have a look at the table and see exactly what it's saying. So in the left-hand column there, we've got kiloliters of usage. All right. Now, when we did the measurement course, we learned about... Um, different types of uh, units of measuring units and um, the kiloliter if you guys remember how many liters in a kiloliter can anyone tell me in chat how many liters in a kiloliter it's the same as grams and kilograms or meters and kilometers it's liters and kiloliters. How many liters in a kiloliter? Very good. Well done, Dave. All right, good. Well done. Yes, good stuff. Okay, so you guys know. So there's a thousand. One kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters. All right. So we're talking quite a lot of water here. And you'd be surprised by how much a household, how much water they actually use. We're talking about thousands of liters of water. Um, of usage and this is a monthly water usage table so you get charged every month so um, you'll be surprised about how much water actually gets used in one month okay so in the left hand column we've got kiloliters and this is how much water you use now um, when uh, Nelson Mandela came out of prison let's do a bit of history here when he came out of prison in 1994 one of the things that he wanted to implement in our country was 
free basic rights for the people in our country. And one of them was like, for example, the right to education. Um, another one was the right to basic water usage. So basic, basic water usage, not talking about irrigating your lawn and filling up your pool. We're talking about um, hygiene, washing, things like that. So basic water usage. So they decided that six kiloliters is enough for a household, an average household, for basic water usage in that household in one month. And because of that, a lot of the municipalities back then had this first category here that if you use less than six kiloliters of water, you don't get charged for it, all right? Today, they don't really do that. I think there might be one or two smaller ones, but most of the major uh, municipalities don't. They still charge people for the first six kiloliters, all right? Um, so the first six kiloliters of water, water usage has no charge. All right, and then what we're gonna do is move into the next bracket. So in the next bracket over here, we see 6.1 kiloliters to 25 kiloliters. So if you use anything from 6.1 to 25 kiloliters of water in a month, you will get charged 17 Rand 23 cents per kiloliter that you use, not for you're not going to get charged 17 rand 23 for no matter what you use. You can get 17 rand 23 charged per every kiloliter you use. Okay, so if you're in that category, that is your per kiloliter charge. Then we go into the second one. If you use water from 25.1 kiloliters to 30 kiloliters in one month, you're going to get charged at a new rate for water in that bracket. Okay, and it's going to make sense as we go on. Um, all right, now let's have a look at the right-hand side of this table. So this is the tariff or charge side of the table. And you can see here, and I hope you noticed it, that these charges are excluding VAT. Now, what that means is if you see this in an exam or test, the examiner will often use that to their advantage. And if these are excluding VAT costs, they might ask you to include VAT in the end of your calculation. All right, so let's see if we're gonna have that tonight. So this is an excluding VAT cost per kiloliter of water usage. All right, now how this works, let's say you use nine kiloliters of water in a month, okay? So I'm gonna draw a block here and pretend that that's all the water that we use in a month. All right, don't worry about a rectangular shape. It's just a representation of all the water that we use. I'll, uh, let's not color it blue, just leave it like that. So it's a block of water, pretend it's a block of water. They are going to say, take six kiloliters of that water, which is about that much. That, um, that amount of water that is your monthly usage must be free. So that portion of your water usage, you're not going to get charged. It's six kiloliters. Okay. So this portion, which is six kiloliters, is free. But there's still another three kiloliters left of the water that you're using. Okay. What does that get charged at? The first six kiloliters is free. Then the next kiloliters that you're using depends on what bracket that is in. So if you are in the 6.1 to 25 kiloliter bracket, everything in there is charged at 17 Rand 23. So these three kiloliters above six kiloliters must be charged at this 17 Rand 23 per kiloliter. Okay, so they take off the first six and they don't charge you for it. Then they see how much is left. We've still got three kiloliters. Well, You've in total, you've used more than six. So those three, which are now in the next category above six, must get charged at 17 Rand 23. All right, now if that is confusing, it will make sense as we start the calculations. And I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so let me remove that diagram there. All right, um, I will refer back to this table often when we're doing this question. All right, now, something else I want to show you here is in each interval, the first number in each interval, each interval, for example, in the second interval here, 
In fact, let me label the intervals. It makes it a lot easier to refer them. Okay, we'll call them interval one, two, three, four, and five. Sometimes people call them tiers, which is like a step. A tier is like a step, like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, but I'll call them interval, all right? So in the second interval here, the number they start with is 6.1 kiloliters, all right? Now, that can be very confusing. Sometimes they don't write it like that. They'll write it as, um, they'll, they'll write it like this. So six kiloliters greater than, um, and I'll put a kiloliter there, but less than and equal to 25. They'll use this notation here in a quality science to say above or less than or greater than. Okay, so what this line says is if you're above six kiloliters, okay, or if you're less than or equal to 25. All right, so that's another way that they can show the interval as well. Now, the people that drew up this table, for ease of use, to make it easier to understand, they said the first interval is from zero to six. Okay, the next interval is from 6.1 to 25. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. What happens if someone has 6.05? Okay, that's a very good question because between six and 6.1, there, there is still a little bit of room. So that's understandable. So what this actually means is that while they put 6.1 there, they're just saying if you are over six, that's their way of saying if you are over six. So if you're six or under, it's from six to zero, you're in the first interval. But as soon as you go over six, you get pushed into the second interval. All right, I hope you understand that. So 6.1, the point one, is just a way for them to say, you over six now, you're in the second interval now. And you'll see the third interval starts with 25.1. The, the point one there says, if you are over 25 kiloliters, you are now in interval number three. Okay, all right. So. I hope you understand what the 6.1 and the 25.1 means, all right? It's not, um, we, in fact, we're not even gonna use the 0.1, we're gonna ignore it. It's, all that's telling us is that you have to be above six. Well, that's what I want you to see that 0.1 is representing, that you're above six. You're not on six, you're just above it, okay? So I hope that makes sense. All right, let's have a look and see. Here's the first question. I'm gonna do the first one. And then I'm going to give you guys a chance to do yours. So the first question is, first of all, how many kiloliters in the second tier of the table? Now, be careful. I don't want you to think of decimals now. So when it says 6.1, don't try and, and get the, se the first decimal place here. Talking in general, all right, generally speaking, how many kiloliters are in the second tier of the table? Can anyone tell me? Roughly, don't worry about 0.1 or 0.9 or anything like that. Roughly speaking, how many kiloliters in the second tier of the table? Anybody? Somebody. In, somebody. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> You're welcome to raise your hand and talk to us if you want. If you have any questions, raise your hand or you can just put in chat. Oh, they've gone quiet, yeah. Yeah, no, it's crickets all round. Yeah, tariff tables can be a challenge, but we'll work through it. Okay, let me help you guys out. We've got from six to 25, okay? So to work out how many kiloliters in that bracket, I can say 25 minus six. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dale, what about the point one? Don't worry about point one. It, Point one is just telling you, you must be over six. That's all that the point one is saying, okay. Yes, Sito, don't worry. We're gonna work through this. It can be challenging, but once you get it, it's very, very satisfying. So we should have nine kiloliters of water in this category. 18.9, oh, my bad, so oh, cheap is not on form tonight. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, if it was 25 minus 5, it would be 20. So it's 19 kiloliters. Okay. All right. Yes, there we go. All right. Yes, Oliver, I also said 9 as well. I also said 9. It's been a long day. All right. Chiamo, now you got 18.9 there. I don't want you to worry about that decimal. Okay, don't worry about the decimal. It's just, for the point one, it's just a way for them to say you're above six. So just ignore the decimal. Okay. All right. So we've got 19 kiliters of water in that first bracket. Just remember that. It's actually very useful when you get to matric to know how much um, water is e in each bracket. So I'm going to put a little 19 here. Uh, I'm going to put a five here for that one. And I'm going to put 15 here for that one. Okay. All right. Now, the next question says, determine the cost excluding VAT. We don't have to worry about VAT now. If 10 kiliters of water is used in a month. Okay. So now this is how you do the calculation. You do it step by step. I'm going to write here one because we're going to work in the first bracket first, the first interval. So we've got 10 kiliters of water. The municipality says the first six kiloliters of that water is free. So I'm going to take six kiloliters off my 10, which means I'm left with four. So I'm just keeping track of how many kiloliters I have. Now, this four, this four kiloliters here, because your monthly usage is 10, all right. If you go over six, it means you've gone into the second interval. If you go over six in the month, you're going into the second interval. Okay. So this four kiloliters that is left, those four kiloliters must be charged at the second interval's rate, which is 17 Rand 23. Okay. So I'm going to say times 17 Rand 23. Press equals. And I'm going to use my calculator and say 4 times 17.3, sorry, 0.23. And that gives us 68,92 Rand. All right. So what do I have now? The first six kiloliters is free. So I took it off and I didn't have to worry about it. And the remaining four, I'm um, in interval two with my 10 kiloliters of water. So the remaining four must be charged at 17 Rand 23. So anything above six and below 25 must be charged at 17 Rand 23. So those four must be charged at 17 Rand 23. And this is what your monthly bill will be. This is excluding VAT, eh? Just remember that. All right. Uh, yes, no, that, that's absolutely correct. Okay. so. We use 10, we take off six that are free. We've got four left, and that's in the second interval. So we charge at 70, 23, so 68 Rand. All right. That's not too bad. I'm sure you guys are okay with that. Are there any questions, guys? You must raise your hand and talk to me if you have any questions. I'm going to move on to a more difficult one now. So the next one says, Plamedi, yes. Plamedi, you have a question. Let's turn your microphone off and talk to us, Plamedi. What's your question? Plamedi, you there? If you're there, turn your mic off and then speak to us. Hey, sir. Yes, how are you? I'm good and you, sir? I'm good, thank you. What's your question? So I wanted to know, um, why don't we minus the 10 kilometers with the five? With the five? Which five are you talking about now? Because yeah, it says, um, no, yeah. Yeah, it says 10 kilometers, 10 kiloliters minus six kiloliters. Six. Yeah, that gives us four, 
Were you seeing a five, my dear? No. No, I meant um, the 19. Oh, the 19. Okay. So that question one there is relating to um, the second interval. They just want to know. It's a, it's, a, it's a question that's not attached to question two. So they're two separate uh, questions. So I just want to know, by the way, how many kilometers of water is there if you go from six to 25? That's all they're asking. It's not relating to question two, where we have this uh, 10 kilometers of water in the month. So question one is just asking, look at interval two. How many kilometers of water are there if you're going from six kilometers to 25? So I just did a quick calculation to show them that. But we haven't used all of that water. We haven't used 19 kilometers. We, we used a portion in there, only four kilometers in that interval. We haven't gone all the way through that interval. We haven't used all the water in that interval yet. We're only using four kilometers in that interval. All right. I'm going to show you one now where we actually go through that interval into the next one. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, but good question. All right, so let's have a look at um, the next question. All right. Now, this one has got lots of things uh, that we have to look at. It says, determine the cost, including VAT, if 27 kiloliters of water is used in a month. Okay, so remember at the end, we must include VAT. But this is 27 kiloliters of water. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing over again. Okay. Um, number one, step number one. We've got 27 kiloliters of water. The first six is free. So I'm going to take six off because we're not paying for that. It's free. So 27 minus six means we have 21 kiloliters of water that we are going to pay for. All right, so that's six. I'm not going to charge it at zero rands. I'm just going to take it off and, and forget about it. It's free. Now we have 21 kiloliters left. Okay, 21 kiloliters. Now let's look at our tariff table. We're into the second interval now because we've gone, we're more than six, obviously. And they say in the second interval, any water from six to 25 must be charged at 17 rand 23. But we got twenty. Uh, we've got uh, tw we were twenty-seven kilometers of water. Okay, so we might actually go all the way through interval two, which only has nineteen kilometers because we got twenty-one and nineteen. So we might go all the way through here and into the third. And I'll show you what happens then. All right. So, like we asked us here, how many kilometers of water is in the second interval? And there's nineteen. So there's nineteen kilometers in there. So what I'm going to do now is I going to say, well, we've got 21 kiloliters to charge. 19 of it must be charged at the second tier's rate. So I'm going to take 19 out, which means I've got two kiloliters left. Just remember that, I've got two left. All 19 must be charged at the second tier's rate, which is 17 Rand 23. All right, just hang in there. So we've got 19 times 17.23. And this gives us 327 Rand and 30, uh, 327, 30, 327, 37, 327, 37. All right, but we're not done. We've still got two kiloliters of water to charge for. Now those two are not gonna be charged at the second intervals rate of 17 rand 23, because we've moved into a new tier. We had altogether 27 kiloliters, okay? The first six were free. The next 19 were charged at 17 rand 23, and we've still got two left. So the next two, which are above 25 and into the 30 bracket, those must be charged at 23 rand 57. Okay, so we've got so much water now that we've moved into the third tier of the tariff table. All right, so these two kiloliters that I still have left are gonna be charged at the third tier's rate. So I'm gonna say, we've got two kiloliters left and these must be charged at the new rate in the third tier, which is 23 Rand and 57 cents. So two times 23 Rand and 57. 
gives us 47 Rand 14. Now, now what we have to do is look at all our charges. The first six were free. We have charged 19 kiloliters at a certain rate and got 327 Rand. We charged two kiloliters at another rate and got 47 Rand 14. These now need to be totaled up, added up. Okay, so it's 327 Rand. 37 plus 47 Rand 14. I've got 47 Rand 14 there, so I'm going to say three plus 327, 37 equals 374.51. And this total is what the municipality will charge you. Okay. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, can you still hear me? I hope you guys can still hear me. All right, thanks, Kamal. Garusha. Yes, Garusha. What is your question? Garusha, are you there? Grusha, we can't hear you at the moment. Uh, just check that you're unmuted. All right, Grusha, we'll try and catch you just now. Um, I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm going to do another one. In fact, I'm going to do this one again, and then I'm going to do another one. We don't have much time, but I'm going to repeat it. And I promise you, the more we repeat this, the more it will make sense. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, in fact, let's change it up now. Let me change the question right now. I'm going to make this, uh, let's make it uh, 32. We're making it big. 32 kilitres of water. All right. What are we going to do if there's 32 kilitres of water used in a month? Okay. So let's go through it again. Number one. You got to take off the free water. So 32 kiloliters, take away six, means I have 26 kiloliters left. That six is free. I don't charge it at anything. All right. I still got 26 kiloliters left. Now, with 32 kiloliters, if you look at our, our tiers here, I'm definitely gone into the second tier and out of the second tier. I've gone from 6 to 25. I'm, I'm past that already now. So I'm using all the water in the second tier from 6 to 25, all 19 liters, kiloliters of it. I've gone into the third tier now. I'm from 25 to 30. And our number is even bigger. So we might even move into the fourth tier with this. Let's see. Okay. So I'm definitely through the second tier. And there's 19 kiloliters in the second tier. Okay. So I'm going to take 19 off because I've definitely gone all the way through there. This is way more than second tier. So I'm going to take 19 off. So I'm going to say 26 kiloliters minus 19. And this gives me 7 kiloliters left. All right. Those 19 kiloliters, all of them, must be charged at the second tier's rate, which is 17 rand 23. All right, so I'm going to say, yeah, 19 times 17 Rand 23. So 19 times 17 Rand 23. 32737. Yeah, we saw that before, didn't we? So 32737. Okay, we still got seven kiloliters left. All right. This, the seven kiloliters, how many kiloliters are there in the third tier? There's only five in the third tier. We're going to go through that tier and into the fourth one because there's only five from 25 to 30. There's only five kiloliters in there. We've got seven. So we're using all the water in the third tier. And we're going to go into the fourth one. We'll see what happens there. But these five kiloliters in the next tier, the third tier now, must get charged at 23 Rand 57. All right. So of my seven that I have, remember, I've got seven here still. I'm going to take off five. 
which means I only have two kiloliters of water left. And these five must get charged at the third tier rate, which is 23 rand, let me check again, and 57. All right, let's do that calculation. So five times 23 rand and 57. And that gives us 117 rand 85. Hundred and seventeen Rand eighty five. All right, we're not done yet though. We still got some water left. We've the first tier was free water. The second tier we charged at seventeen Rand twenty three. The third tier we were charged at twenty three Rand fifty seven. We've got even more water, and the municipality is penalising us now because we've used a lot of water. So this fourth tier rates should be high. If we look at the fourth tier rate there. It's 51 Rand 98 per kiloliter. The municipality is like, listen, you're using way too much water now. You should not be using this much. We don't mind if you're using like 25 kiloliters or a little bit more, but this is a lot. So they're going to charge you every kiloliter now in this tier at 51 Rand 98. They're making it very expensive now. And we only have two left. So these two are in the fourth tier. So I'm going to go ahead. It's all we have left. And I'm going to charge at 51 Rand. I think it was 51.98. Let me check. Yes. So these last two are in the fourth tier. They charge at 51 Rand 98. Rand and nine cents. Okay. So now what we have to do is add up all our charges. So we have the second tier's charge of 327 Rand 37, the third tier's charge of 117 Rand 85, and this last little bit of water in the fourth tier. So we need to add all these up. Okay. I'm not going to write it out. I'm just going to do it. In fact, let me write it out. Let's do it properly. So this is how you should set it up in the exam. You write it out now. You add them all up. You want to add that to 117 Rand 85 and add that to 103 Rand 90. Now you guys just get ready because you're going to do the next one. All right, so 327, 37 plus 117.85 plus 103.9. Okay, this gives us a total charge of 549 Rand and 12 cents. 549 Rand. Hold on. 549 Rand and 12 cents. So that is the final charge that you should see on your water bill. Uh, 54918, Sambula, I think we've got some decibels. Either me or you got some decibels there. So it's 10397, it's 10396, not 10390. Oh, let me check. Let me check. I love it when people are checking my answers here. I calculated Let's... it now. It should be 96. It should Is be it? 103 Rand and 96 cents. Oh, let's check. Oh, I think I'm going blind. And then somebody asked where you got the five. All right, I'll check on that now. Let's just make the change. So it's 96 there, 96 there. And let me go back to my calculator and go back and 10396 equals. Ah, so that person was right. So it's one eight. Well done. One eight. All right. The five. Where is this five? The five kiloliters. Ah, so I'm yes. talking about this five kiloliters here. Okay. Good question. So I don't know if you remember, but the first question said, how many kiloliters? I'm going to rub this off. They said, how many kiloliters are there in the second tier? There's a reason why they do that because you actually might work through the whole tier with, with, a, with a lot of water, if you have a lot of water. So you need to know there's 19 kiloliters in that tier. And I said, it's actually good, a good idea to know exactly how much water is in each tier. So what I did was I did a quick calculation to work out how much water is there in this third tier, okay? And that works out to be five kiloliters. Now I know what Sonia is gonna do, say, so hold on, there's a point one, don't worry. Don't worry about the decimals. It's a generalized, uh, it's just a way of saying above 25. So there's about five kiloliters in there and there's about 15 kiloliters in there. All right, so this five, I moved through the whole of tier three, there's only five in there, which is why I said 
take off five over here. That's the, all the water in the third tier is, there's only five kiliters in the third tier and we still had two kiliters left. Okay, now, now it's time for you guys to try this out. It's not easy the first time you try anything, okay? But the more you practice this kind of question, the easier it will be. So I want you to try, let's make it, I wanna make it too hard. Let's make it, uh, let's try 22. All right, so never mind question one, ignore question one. We're gonna go to this question here. Okay, so we're gonna try this question here. Determine the cost. Oh, we forgot to do that, guys. We forgot to do that. I knew I was gonna forget it. We the last one, that. didn't it say it includes that? Yeah, this one said we need to include that. All right. Um, so it's including that. No, they want us to calculate the cost including. So these costs on the table uh -oh. are, ex are excluding costs. So we have to add that in the end. So to include that, like we learned before, you just say 549, 18 times 1,15. Or if you want the two-step process, it's up to you. But this does it nice and easy. So 549.18 never times 1.15 is 631.56, so 631.56, okay. So that's with that included, five, five. Uh, we'll be careful the decimals. I've got um, 0.557, so that means that the second decimal five will change to a six, okay. Just check that on your side there. All right, it's your turn. It's your turn now to try this, okay. Don't be afraid to try it. Let's see what you guys can do. So you're going to work out that included for 22 kiliters of water. I'm going to go, just remember 22. I'll write it up here by the table and I'll leave the table there. Let me rub that off. Let's rub that off. I'm going to put you, you have 22 kiliters of water. All right, let me put a little block here and I'll write you 22 kiliters. Work it out for 22 kiliters of water. And I'll leave the table up there. Right, 22 kiliters. Let's see if you guys can do this. We're just going to do this one question. I see an answer already. No ways. I swear. <laughs> no way. These guys are good. These guys are good. But are they that good? What's wrong, Tiamo? <laughs> Tiamo stumped tonight. Oh dear. Talk to us. Maybe you want to share what you're going through. Are you doing this one, Depor? My answer is completely different than theirs. <laughs> just remember that if you guys put your camera on then I can see if you're working or not hey I can see Nicholas is definitely working very hard there Sonia's like I'll wait for the corrections <laughs> oh no <laughs> I'm 
Oh, I can see on the video cameras, the guys are working furiously there. So, Pelo, how are you doing? Is it happening? Excellent, well done. <laughs> see Busta Siwe, she's working hard. Oh, there's the Boer's calculator that's come out. <laughs> this is a challenging question. It's one of the, the really hard ones that you'll get in a MATLAB paper. But you mustn't be scared. You just tackle it bit by bit. We've got answers already. Is the answer big or small? <laughs> Let's look Anola, have you got an answer yet? Let's look Anola, you got an answer? Sambula and I are on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> Because I just calculated mine trying to find out why are people so stressed because this is so easy. <laughs> I'm not scared, I'm terrified. <laughs> so I feel very validated by Sambula right now. <laughs> Tiamo also has the same answer, Sambula. <laughs> why is everybody else so terrified? <laughs> Uh, we'll see when we do the answer. All right, in a minute, I'm going to do the answer and we'll see. I think Nicholas is done. He's got an answer, I'm sure. Yeah, take the smile. He's, he's, you can see by his smile, he's got an answer. All right, let's see. You guys keep going. You keep going. You can ignore my voice. You can mute me if you want while you carry on. I'm going to start doing this and because time's running short. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if uh, if we get the same answer. Yeah. All right. We've got 27 kiloliters. All right. Let's see. I need some space. Was it 22? Sorry, 22. My apologies. All right. Let's run that everybody off. out now. <laughs> Like a wild hysteria. <laughs> All right, we got 22. I'm going to write it there so I can remember. 22 kiliters of water. So the first six are free. So we're taking off the first six, which means we've got 16 kiliters left. The first six are free. We're not going to charge them at anything. All right, we've got 16 left. Now, if I look at my table, the second tariff. It's got 19 kiliters of water altogether. We don't have 19 or more. We've only got 16. So we're going to end up in this interval, in this tier here, tier two. We won't go through it because we only have 16 left. This one needs 19 to finish. So we're not going to go through the second tier. We're going to stay in the second tier. All right. So this, these 16 kiliters must get charged at the second tier rate which is if i'm not mistaken 17 rand 23. we've got to check yeah 17 rand 23. so 16 times 17 rand 23. okay have you got those quiz links ready Ah, uh, not even actually i completely forgot because we're having so much fun yeah, it is fun, but we're going to have to put them up soon. 27568. 27568. Oh, or 276. 27568. All right. We're not moving past this tier. We only got 16 kiloliters. This second tier takes 19 to get through. So we're not going through this tier. We, we've stuck, we've ended in this tier. Okay. So this 275 and 68 is all you're going to pay for 22 kiloliters. You took six off. And you had 16 left and you only stayed in the second tier but we're not finished yet because we need to work out 
bat. So 275 and 68 times 1,15. Let's see. 275.68 times 1.15 equals 31703. All right, 31703. Oh, I've got 379 there. 31703, well done. Sambulo, well done. All right, looks like those two people are the only ones that put the answers there. Okay. <laughs> 317032. Sito, well done. We round it off to two decimals, so we'll leave it as 31703. Okay, guys, I think you're going to need to watch this video again and work through it step by step. It is a challenging question. There's actually quite a lot of marks in these things as well. So if you can get it, you can score a lot of uh, marks in this kind of question in the exam. We're going to 34460. Ah, it's very close. Okay. We're going to have to end it there because